record is now 7.30. Open this meeting. Um, the Pembroke Conservation Commission for 11.21.16. Uh, members present are <coughs> Mary Mary Keeney. Guiney, no R, no no R. Uh, Art Edgerton, Greg Walsh, myself, Andy Stevenson, Scott Glovin will be right with us, and Agent Bob Thorn, Bob Clark, sorry, not Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Man, my brain. Well, do I have to add stuff to that? Room? I am fried today. I'm sorry. It was a long day. Um, <clears throat> please note that this meeting is being made available to the public through video and audio broadcast on PAC TV government access channel for broadcast and future dates. Comments from the open session will be recorded. So let's see, following the agenda, uh, we have uh, 7.30 for Brian Cochran, uh, RE10 Marion Way. That's correct. Hey, Brian, you can come on up, sir. Do I just try to bring a chair? Yeah, 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 bring a chair right up. Let's see, uh, let's see what we got. Okay, go to the uh, Mr. Clark, we, we invited. I'm being nice. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. We've had a little issue down at 10 Marion, well, not 10, but that general area. Some neighbors then complaining that trees were being cut down by the pond on their property or on the roadway or on somebody's property. But anyway, all they were being cut within the hundred foot of the pond, and it appeared that Mr. Kaufman probably knows as much about that subject as as anyone down you no know, down in there. And we were trying to get at least to the bottom of it. I drove down close to it. There really isn't a road down into the area. Well, the maps all show the paper roads go right down into the pond. There's nothing that could that gave me any indication of who, where the property lines were, where the road were, was, or anything. Otherwise, without something to go on, I'm just fishing and. It appeared that you know, everything went back to Mr. Carpenter. So that's why we invited you in to explain your part of it. And then we have to decide what, you know, what we need to do, if anything, from there. It's very confusing. We've got two neighbors, my surrounding ones, and we're taking it from there to figure out whose property is whose property. And the property, I assumed, was mine which is based on what I got when I closed on the place. And I brought all this stuff with me. And my neighbors to the right are saying that it's their property, but that's based plus me. That it's their property. And based on what they have done recently, we're going to court over it. Because what I got when I closed says it's mine, but it's it might not be mine right now and they brought surveyors in and you know they flagged it and you know, a lot of that's the single thing but they flagged it etc and um and based on federal as opposed to what i got from the town when i closed on it are two different things and there are some what they did recently they found a, a big old I don't know a cement anchor or yeah. whatever yeah. it is and yeah. so that's our predicament right now but you know I made the assumption that it was mine but there's also a predicament in the tree and I'm, it was no small tree that was sitting there half in the water and it was a tree that, well, it was one stump, but two gigantic trees about this thick. And one was going into the water. When I hired these guys to get it out of there, and this was the time to do it because the water wasn't there. So it was easy to get them to cut the thing down. 
But they told me that they had to cut the whole, those, they told me, and they won't give you the time of day if you call them, by the way. They, they've got a lawsuit going on right now in Plymouth. But they basically said that they've got to cut both of them down to pull it off. Because, again, one stump and two gigantic trees growing out of that, you know, same stump. Uh, that's, uh, but, but I had I had no idea it was a hundred foot rolling on this thing. I, I, you know, my next door neighbors, they've got nothing but beach going into their, out of their property. And, you know, this was a little bit of wood. So um, I made the assumption that it wasn't illegal. Uh, being that the tree is done, what's done, we can't do anything about the what the re, uh, state regulations basically say is any work within a hundred foot of you know, use a protectable resource area, which in this case the pond. And I learned that after the fact. Yeah, yeah. And, and is needed. So uh, what I would would like to see is in the future, if there was something that needs to be done, we need to be at, at least advised and and all before it could be. You people have appear to have a court of some sort going on. We don't really want to be in the middle of of that at all. So as long as nothing is done in that 100 foot buffer while you people are settling who's what and where, then I think uh, we should be satisfied with with what's going on right now. That, uh, you know, just we'll leave it up to the courts to decide whose property, and then if you've got something you want done, come back before us, call Mary. We'll, we'll, there's some little form work to do, but you know, it's, it makes it all legal. But right now, we're caught between you and your neighbors mm -hmm. and everything, and then, you know, the tree is cut. The trees that are cut are cut, and we can't put them back, and you can't put them back. Mm -hmm. So it's probably best just to let everything sit the way it is so you people can figure out what's really going on you know, in that corner. And, and again, I will not touch anything out there no matter what goes on. Um, there's nothing else that was just that one big tree. Yeah. So I've learned my lesson and it won't happen All right. Well, we're sorry you had to learn this <laughs> way, but I mean, we, again, we had, to, we had to bring somebody in to explain to us what's going on because we had complaints. No, have to look into it. Uh, right. Either way, though, I mean, it's still a violation. We had a tree service go in and remove a tree, regardless of whose property it is, it's still a violation. Yeah, right. And it was done by a commercial entity as well. well yeah. They should have known that that's. They, they should have. Yeah. Unfortunately, local tree people now understand the regulation. This is someone I've never, never really run into. And Mary can send them a quick letter, but. Uh, it took a long time to get the tree people to, you know, Even work with us, us. To work with us. Now, now they with most of the time they won't touch anything without first giving us a call. And I think Greg, you probably know that, and maybe not. Maybe that <laughs> what we've done in this town in the past is any tree that is a danger can be taken down. No. Through the stump, they can't do anything with the with the stump. But if a homeowner or a tree man can say that it's a danger, then we just give them the okay to take it down because otherwise we take the could take the legal responsibility of what happened if it came down on its on its own. And it's worked out well. I mean, because we work with them, these people will tell us every time they. They're working, or even if it's close, they'll yep. call and say, "Gee, I've got this. You want to look at them before I, yep. I do anything." What type of tree was? It was in the water. Was it in the water? What type of tree? Oh, it was in the I assume yeah, it was one of no. half of his. One of but again, his. half yeah. of it yeah. was yeah. the roots. Half the roots right. were in the water. So I don't know I'm just asking yeah. what type of tree it was. Uh, it's a so water tree. Down 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 just saying. It was an oak. We're just asking that to bring up a point that. All trees are not equal, so it's even more important that be, no, not you know, be more important that we go through this process because that could be 
a chest lifter or something. Or it could be. Uh, no, I'm just saying. So. No, I'm not it's arguing. It's not it. just. I'm just saying I'm stupid about it. No, no, I. I am. I love Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's a good thing. I'm not beating you up. I'm just expressing to the board too. I'm new at this, and mm -hmm. it, it covers all the trees and, and stuff. So get on board and like Bob says. Uh, I like to move uh, Mary send a notice to the tree people. Yeah. You know, explain to them that in this town anyway, that anytime they're working within 100 foot of a resource area that they need permission, they need to at least notify us and get permission. It doesn't say they can't do it. Notify the board. Yeah. Do you want him to have, come in and introduce himself to the board? Yeah. Do you want give him that opportunity. Do you want like him to introduce himself? If they'd like to, but I mean, that's, yeah, uh, I in most cases, it's just, it'd just be a waste right. of their just a time and all. And I like yeah. to, and I like to uh, see, see the two the neighbors. We have neighbors that file numbers and all. Uh, you know, just so that everybody knows that we have talked to them and that that it's sitting in in limbo until such time as they can get their their selves together down there and know what's going on and then follow the the regs from there on. And I I don't know if you care enough, but I'm going to send them an email as well to yeah. let them know. Oh yeah, well good. Yeah, it may sink in. Uh, if I look like I'm there, it's only because we've dealt with them, and you know, most of it is in in one ear and out the other. Unless there's somebody who's doing a substantial amount of work in town, and then after a while they realize it's easier to do it the right way than it is the wrong way. Yes. And just to let you know, when they were doing it, the police showed up, mm -hmm. and they got fully educated on it. And the only reason that it continued to get cut down is because it was half in the water. They had no other choice. I think that's that's why I like us. The board agrees. That's what we should. Yeah. 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 You all set? Yeah. We're good to go. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you for coming in. Thank you very much. Can I steal that card back? So no, no, I need the, that. Okay, I'll find well, it. Well, can you take a copy of it so we can have it? Scott? No, I'm knowing them. I know their phone numbers. So I'll just okay. get it. I'll take it from there. It's a tree company. Yeah. It's litter, tree service, and landscaping. If you want, I can run upstairs and make a copy. No, I have. I, have I know yeah. all their numbers. Your phone? They're in Abington. Your phone? That's all I, I I have everything. I have bills. I'll email it to you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. All right. Thank you very thank much. You. Have a good night. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Uh, our next hearing is. I'm, I'm sorry. Mary, can I bother you on some of that? Do, do you the want me to colored move part? On? Well, I'll give you this, but the colored part is what I got when I. Do you want me to mail this right back to you when I finish? Well, with this my is stuff? the same thing. Is it? I just want this one because this is what I oh, got okay. when I close. Okay. I can mail this all back to you. Uh, um, um, no, I, I, as long as I have this, I'm going to say. All right. Thank you again. And what, I, I, we, we have to, any documents that presented to yeah. us, I have to we have to put them. in the file by law. Okay. So that's why she needs to copy you. something. If, I, if you don't get within. A week, give me a call and remind me. You, you tell me what to do. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Mail, documents. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you, you for working much. at night. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. Our uh, next hearing is a request for der determination for 346 Washington Street, Alosa, and it's to determine wetland function of isolated land subject to flooding. Good evening, everyone. Kevin Grady from Grady Consulting. Thank you. Representing the applicant. Um, I think you want to tell them where it is. They know it by a different name. Uh, yeah. Uh, so this site is the old Chip Tech or Chip Co site where they. You could probably all bought mulch there at some point in the past. And, um, Chip Tech moved out of there. Um, the owner had a, a landscape company occasionally uh, store equipment there and take it out. And um, so you're all familiar with where the site is. Uh, 
apparently at some point in in the not too distant past, uh, somebody unbeknownst to the owner came in and took out a bunch of material in the middle of the property. Um, they brought it down to the water table and there's um, wetland vegetation because they brought it right down to the water table. Uh, it lacks topsoil. I submitted a uh, narrative uh, describing how the uh, this area in here in particular does not um, protect it, but does not meet the uh, performance standards or the function to protect the interests of the Wetlands Protection Act. Um, I went over each, each of the standards there. Um, I also put in there um, Google Earth images of how the site um, has been used over the last 15 years um, to show that it has been an active site and that uh, you know, due to the you know the work that this company did, unbeknownst to the owner, we now have this um, hole in the middle of the property that is uh, really problematic for them. Is you know, cat and nine tail and yep. and all of the rest of the pioneering. Um, yeah. You know, it's not that, a real substantial. The area, that high the area value, they're showing is low. Is really the center area of. Shipco, when Shipco was operating, it probably was wood chips and decayed wood that was taken out and screened for loam and all from there. Um, so this is, it, I say it is just a man-made piece of isolated area. The ground in that area, uh, when it rains, the rain is there for forever it, it it's, does not have a great absorption value so this low area just took the runoff and let the wood yeah as opposed to running off which it did yeah. in the you know previously in the natural setting so we do have water and vegetated weapon delineated we, we do have top of bank um we were showing we have a riparian zone associated with that um so and we also have a border vegetated wetland here and here. So we're surrounded by resource areas that we will be protecting, you know, in the next layer. Just um, so that you are right now, the determination before the board is for the green area flagging only, not the rest of the site. Okay. Is there a second site as well? This, uh, is that, is that also included? Yes, that's a isolated vegetated wetland right here. Um, same thing. Somebody excavated a hole over there. They dug that all in. Yeah. Um, is that still um, a stockpile of stumps? that weren't ground up from the previous business all around the right side of that drawing. Uh, uh, right, yeah, there's a large uh, hedgerow of stumps, you know, old stumps, piles of them. I was on the site. I did not physically do the okay. um, survey and locate all of these. I did not notice them when I was there. I did walk through here and around here, and I did not do the delineation, so I didn't notice. I can't really answer that. Um, it's something here. There's, uh, to my knowledge, <coughs> unless they've been removed, there's a real lot of a hedgerow, large, long, large hedgerow of stump pileage there. Okay. Um, up against these wetland areas and stuff. And as we all know, stump piles and things are great habitat for certain species. Yes. Yep. That may or may not be there. That should be looked at. Okay. In my opinion. For uh, habitat? Yeah. Or, yeah. I, it should be looked at. Okay. You're saying for pests? Is that what you're saying? Um, for habitat areas that are defined in certain 
is it on the, any of the green areas though? Or not? Uh, I, that's what I'm asking. Green areas, green areas, wide open. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. we're that a bus. Back into the we're that a bus into the woods. Right. There's a huge hedgerow of stumps that go into wet areas, and they're a hedgerow right into the wet areas, and that is a habitat line or area. And it should just be looked at way off on the side. Okay. Right? Before and evaluated whether it needs to be. It should be looked at. Or it should be looked at. Understood. Being nice, just okay. look at it. it. Tells what you think. Okay. Is the eventual plan to clean the site up? Or? Yeah. It, so the current owner is marketing this right. site, but it could not be marketed with this potential wetland in the middle of that area right there. Okay. Right. Okay. right. If, now, if we allow that piece to be taken out and and brought back, then they can market the whole thing. But right now, it's marketing nothing. Yeah, I, I'm more concerned with what I'm discussing about habitat than I am about the actual absorbing wetland because it is a big sponge I and mean, it just sucks in water, and that's not a bad thing. But uh, unless you want to put something there, but it's got a long history. You all know it. It was a, a mill. Back with the box mill. And yeah, West no, mill it's and it's all it's what's actually the site is cleaner. Yes. Now <laughs> than it was when it was left. Oh yeah. It's not clean, but it's cleaner. Much more. It's getting closer to it, and yeah. if it becomes mockable, then whoever comes in right away is going to get hit with. Okay, now you've got to get take the rest of this and right. And just clean up what was left from the original people. Big job. Yeah, there's still a big, well, you know, a, bit, a lot of a lot to be done. Unfortunately, uh, these type of sites they tend to bring in more than they can handle. And before long, they're clogged up tight, and it's a lose. They they've taken the money to bring the stuff in, and now they have no money to process, to process it and take it back out. And it just keeps growing and growing, and finally, when it reaches a point, somebody pulls the plug, and now you got a big site full of chocolate. Yeah, we've seen that, right? Yeah, yeah. You so I say it, it's this is not the only site. Yeah, yeah. No, right. you know this one absorbs water really well since the fire department pumped for what three weeks. Yeah, and that was that, <laughs> see, where the fire department. That's why I say this area they take out pump. is right. where where, just where just that fire where the was, the pile, out, big right. pile of chips and also. Yeah. Somebody came in, had a market for the chips, and okay. dug out everything they yep. could possibly get out of there, and then left the hole. Yeah, right. Which is good because there was a huge pile of stuff being dug. Yeah. Second. Okay. The motion has been made to close. Uh, any further discussion on this particular area right here, or these two areas on the map? Or? You know, it is what it is. It's cattails and stuff, and it's clear what it is. You know what it is, and I'm more concerned with the rest of the property around it than that particular piece. Yeah, I have a sense, but you know, so he's on the table. I move. I move. We issue a positive two A and two B. And under 2A wording, flags C16 to C90 and flags B1 to B9 have determined to not be subject to regulations under the Wetland Protection Act of the Town of Pembroke Bylaws. Under 2B, the Conservation Commission did not verify or affirm the location and accuracy of the following areas identified on the submitted plan. Flags C1 to C15, flags C91 to C100. All A-series flags mean annual high water mark of Pudding Brook and affirmative riparian zone and off FEMA flood zone A. In other words, with those are our disclaimer. In other words, we're only looking at the green piece. Anything else that's on the plan, right. you know, we haven't yeah, looked at. Yeah. So just to be clear, we're just, just not, because it's only cattails and it's old mulch, yeah. we're declaring it's not a wetland. It's not we're a not wetland. We're not voting yeah. on any of the other plans. No, so right. 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 Yeah. Just that or Second. Okay. Motion's been made and seconded. Are there any other questions or discussion on it? Okay. 
All in favor of uh, issuing all that stuff offset? <laughs> Aye. I don't remember all of that. <laughs> Aye. 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 Well, that's your gun. Great. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Good, good, good night. Thanks, you too. I want to sell it quick and clean it up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there is an KPW thing. wants a new garage. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, we're not supposed to say that, huh? No, no. no. I'll be happy to tell anybody. Yeah, we want a new garage. Yeah. That's what they would have like. Yeah. Well, I don't know if there's a man that we need. I know. I don't, I, that isn't where I want to go. Uh, feasibility study is good. Mm -hmm. Seven. Uh, eight o'clock. Uh, continue uh, abbreviated notice of resource areas <coughs> delineate of delineation the AMRAD, uh high and forest streets, Spring Frank DEP file number SC 56 971 to verify in a firm location of wetland resource areas. The motion to open and continue this to December 5th, 2016 at 7.50 p.m. Second. Who made the motion? I just in read it off of here. So. I move what Andy said. Thank you. So he has second one Bob said. Oh, true. <laughs> All in favor. Aye. 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 Excellent. Open and continue to December 5th, 2016 at 7.50 p.m. That's all for uh, hearings and appointments. Uh, ongoing discussions, we have repairs that everyone run talk is first on the list. I got the new rail up and sturdied up the post on the side. I actually have a bill out in my truck awesome. for a box of um, timber locks and a 14-foot awesome. two by six. I'll, I'll drop that off to Mary later. Um, I didn't, unfortunately, I got busy this weekend, so I did not get down there to look at the window or to remove the stove, so I will probably try to do that for the next weekend or so. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Well, something to add there. Um, brought it to your attention. When we voted to, say, take the stove, you know, all of you taking the stove, you know, I attention that because we're custodians doesn't give us the right to transfer property, so I would move that the stove become declared. Um, Surplus. Surplus. Okay. We vote that or we'll do that and we'll give you the stuff. All right. Whatever you'd like to do, doesn't it? It's not me. Nope. I'm, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not. I didn't mean it that way. Whatever, whatever you guys feel comfortable with. Or um, just notice or something to other parties. That's all. Yeah, please. Oh, good. You didn't hear back. <laughs> Second. Thank you. The motion's been made the second is to declare the stove that's in at the at the building in the herring run. Scott was gonna clean it out and do the windows and, and fix the pipe and, and do that and as he had said earlier. And in that we said, you know, he had expressed some interest. So that stove is now gonna be a surplus item. So we would like to transfer said stove to surplus item in order to just Donated to Scott for his time in doing so as a non profit situation. Is everybody okay with that? I was going to have a disposal. Disposal. There you go. No. Whatever works. That's fine. Okay, so the motion's been made and seconded. Uh, all in favor? Or any discussion on that? Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? No. Thank you. Well, we're on that. Yes, sir. I haven't picked up the fence yet for to just no mark off so that. I'm going to hopefully get that either today, uh, tomorrow, or Wednesday. Because I think they did drop the Christmas tree. Yeah, yeah, they did drop the Christmas tree off. My the tree will be here soon. I'm yeah. sure. So, yeah. so we're going to try to get that to the rear of the So and that was for when last week. Uh, when we were here last, we voted to get some snow fence just to mock off and put off that area where the wild parsnip is so that when they bring the trees in, so there's no wandering people in or kids around just to isolate that area from the parking facility. And we have to move the seeds too. It's not much of a danger right now for people, but you can still move the seeds around. Yeah. And we communicated with that group uh, that 
that uh, does the trees about the Kiwani? Yeah. I don't believe we have. I don't think so, but they'll figure it out. It'll I'm sure we'll uh, <laughs> they won't miss it. Yeah, they'll see it. It'll well, be well, it'll be well. Sure, but I mean, yes. do they know? I mean, do they know well, why they know the fence is stuff. up? Yeah. At, at this point in its life, during the season, <laughs> season, it is not. I think everybody as knows what's the generally bad as it as it can be as it's in bloom. So oh, if, more, if more I see just, Mike there, I'll just it. give him a friendly answer. The education yeah. process really worked. That all this help keeps people away from there. Don't don't go strolling over that. I think, that we, I think the education process and the media showed what you can educate people on how fast today. It's pretty, it was pretty quick. Uh, Next, we have a budget request for fiscal year 18. This is cut standard for all committees and everything else in the town for their budget. We have. I don't want to say we have a problem with it. Our budget is up is is almost nothing because we work off of our rotating funds that come in and go out. And we've always been very frugal. Uh, but unfortunately when you're frugal, they want you to be more frugal, more frugal. rather than you know, giving you a little bit of what what you need. Uh, and what we really need for Eighteen is hard to do. We now have Lahey property that we're going to have to take care of, the buildings and all that. So we are going to have some expenses, but we're not in a position yet to even know what we need, know what we need right. down there. Other than you'll see later on, we've already got a water bill that we need to pay. So that whole situation gets resolved, right? On what's what and who's yeah. well, that's it. We try, well, well, we're just right because I brought it up with right. a water bill after tracing it through the town hall here last week. Mm -hmm. It came back to the desk and said, You have to pay. It's only $15 for this year, so, so let's get it's a bare minimum. Break. But they said we had to pay it. That uh, some of the t some places in town they don't have to pay them, but in this case, because it's already there, we. For fifteen dollars, I don't want to go to Wayne. Yeah, I spent about well, three hours chasing it from office to office. Okay, so it only cost us one hundred and fifty dollars. Right, right before. <laughs> so let's get it done now before the interest kicks in. So, have we found out whether we're going to have custody of that building or the town? Or just the building? No, we just get the building. All right. So again, I, I think most of you have heard the story. Uh, That's good. Still trying to get out of the corner office upstairs, a copy of whatever was promised to Mr. Lahey at the closing of the deal, what we have to live up to. He goes, oh, it's in an email, it's here, it's there. Um, and last week, a couple of times I sat in there and it's still email, a copy email hasn't reached our office. So, we still don't know for sure what it is. We know we have to put up a sign, and we know we have to have a conservation restriction on the property. Um, and I think both of those will be covered by the rest of the CPA funds that were put up when the place was built. But uh, we just can't seem to get a good answer. Right? We have keys to the Lahey property. But we haven't been given the okay to physically do anything, anything on the on the property. Now, the, we've requested that they make sure that the place was insured and, and all. We have to pay the insurance. Well, I don't know. Well, it, 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 it should be under the town plan. I mean, uh, but other than that, we're and I don't understand why. We can't find out things that are that simple, but it just appears that there's so much going on in the corner office that the people that can deal with the legal people are too busy to deal with something this far down on the on the list right now. So, uh, as we're well, coming into the winter months, so we're going to have to make sure that the heat is on. I mean. It appears everything is there. I haven't really tried the heat, but uh, you know, 
but even then, it just means that that building needs to be checked at least every other day or every day when it's real.